All right, let's go over how to create a cinemagraph, which is just basically taking a video and making it an animated GIF using Photoshop. But a cinemagraph is a little different because instead of the whole image moving like it's happening here, we're going to make it so that the only part that's in motion is this little part here where the flame is. And you see these sort of stylistic cinemagraphs every now and then on websites. So we're gonna use this video, which I have downloaded from Pixabay. The URL is here below if you wish to pause and go download this. I just downloaded the smallest one for free using the free download button. Um, so again, this video is from Pixabay. Then you're going to go into Photoshop and simply file and open and open the video. Now videos should open up with a timeline down here at the bottom. So you should notice that you have a timeline. If you do not, of course, go to window and then timeline to bring up that panel. You'll also notice that your video will be listed under layers in the video group one. And that's important because anything that's video goes in that group, but still images and so forth that we wanna stack on top of this video are gonna go above. Okay, so I'm going to leave this alone and then I'm going to duplicate this layer and freeze it because right now if we play down here on the timeline, what you'll see is we can see the video in action, but I want to make a copy of this. So I'm going to du duplicate the video. You can right click duplicate or press control J either way. I'm going to call this still. And then notice, see, what it's going to do is if it goes in the video group, it thinks you want to add it to the video, but I don't. So I'm going to grab it up out of the video group so that it's up here. And then I can scoot it down here and just picked it up and moved it. So this is the still image. And now if we play, here's what we have. Uh, but this is still a video. So I'm just going to rasterize it, right click, rasterize layer, so that it is now just a frozen still image. Okay. And that's kind of the kicker here. We need a frozen still image in order to get this cool cinemagraph look. Okay, so let's just watch it um, move. Let me turn the eyeball off here so we can look at it. Um, so here it is. You can kind of see it move, right? And we are going to, I'm going to turn the eyeball back on. We are going to add a layer mask here to let us see through to the flickering part. So to add a layer mask in the layers panel, find the add layer mask button, which is a rectangle with a circle. That adds a white layer mask. But what we need is to paint in black with a very soft brush. So take your brush tool and set your size um, to about 70 on this one, but you can try others. And then be sure the hardness is at zero and that you are using indeed a soft round. I'm just going to paint gently and it'll be hard to see but you're gonna paint gently in black because black is kind of like an eraser and it's like we're erasing the still image right here. All right, so there you go. And you can kind of see it lit up a little bit as I did that. Now you wanna have a soft one um, so that it blends fine with what's behind it. So if I turn this off now, what you can see is we have just a hole there where the video will show through, okay? That's what's happening. All right, that's literally it. <laughs> so I'm gonna press Control and zero to fit this to my screen. And I'm just gonna press my space bar. And now notice we don't have everything else moving. We just have that one. And of course this one looks kind of weird because it's sort of snowflakes. And you could touch that up. So if I press my space bar to pause, um, you could be a little more precise about where that's at. So let me turn off this again. So we can take a white paintbrush to paint back in some of that. So maybe if we feel like we're getting a little too much outside of the candle, we can paint back in some of the rest of this, like so. Okay, let me turn it back on and we can watch it move. And now we're not getting quite as much of the snowflakes, um, but again, you can do as much as you want on there. So I could still, and I like to turn it off just so I can see, paint in maybe some more of this bow. There we go, turn it back on. There we go. See, that looks a lot better. And obviously you're not gonna be able to get rid of every little bit of it, you know, but anyway, okay. So control minus here so we can look at it. And if you wanted to, you could crop it. I think I will crop this down just a little bit because I don't really need all of that extra going on there. All right, now finally, of course, we must export this out to turn it into a GIF animation. 
So you're going to go to File and Export, and we're going to use Save for Web Legacy, which is just the easiest way to export an animation. Click Save for Web Legacy. You should have a box that pops up, and it may take a little bit of time, and it's probably going to spin in circles a bit because it's processing your video. But once it comes up, it's going to be important that you tell it that you want a preset. And that preset is going to be um, GIF. And you can go in here and choose all these, but honestly, just come underneath and choose the GIF format. Now, here's the problem. Right now, this is going to create a 1,210 second video clip. I really don't want it to be that long because it's an animation. I do want it to loop forever, so it's going to play over and over again. But I don't want it to be the entire length of this video. So I'm going to hit done instead of doing that and I'm going to set only a certain area of this to export. So I'm going to go like from here to you know here. You can choose how long. Like that's probably enough. Okay and then take this little button here which is your out point and pull that in. So now we can export just that area. So now if I go to file export and save for web Instead of 1,210 seconds, it's got 138 seconds. And I could do even shorter than that, but that's for example. You can also resize it if you don't need this to be this big. You can set the percentage of resize. Anyway, once you're done, hit save. Give it a name. Christmas GIF. Okay, and it's going to be a .gif. I'm going to put it in my videos folder. I'm going to hit save. And then I'm going to come out here and find my folder. So I'll go to my videos folder, and here it is, christmasgif.gif. If I open it in Windows to take a look at it, we will see, there it is. And we've got a nice little GIF. And that didn't take really any time at all. So Cinemagraphs, super cool, nice little subtle animation without it being too much. Um, these are really cool with things like, say, fireworks or... Uh, fog or smoke or steam, you know, that kind of thing looks really, really neat. And that's it.